In today's video, I'm going to teach you all about PNG tubing. Let me start off with the basic what is a PNG tuber and what is PNG tubing. Basically, PNG tubing is kind of like VTubing without having a 3D model. Instead, you have a bunch of still images and as you talk, the images will either move up and down, the mouth will open, you can either uh, have like blinking features as well. There's so much you can do with PNG tubing. This is good if you don't like being on camera a lot. I have one myself, which I'm going to show in a minute. Um, I use my PNG tuber when I just don't feel good enough for the camera. Like I'm, I'm in PJs, I don't have makeup on, or I just don't feel like being on camera. But a lot of faceless streamers use this way as well. It is so much cheaper than like a full-on VTuber model and rigging and things like that. Speaking of, you can also use PNG tubing as just a cheaper option of VTubing and see how you like it. Because you can basically get anything, you know, which I will go into in a second. But let me show you my PNG tuber. So this is an example of a PNG tuber. As you can see, uh, as I talk, she also blinks and her mouth is open. She also like moves around and bounces up and down. There's different features, which I will show you guys how to use this later on. Now the next question is, how do you get a PNG tuber like this? Well, there's a few ways. So there's a few ways you can have a PNG tuber. There's some that are already like preset so that you can like order stuff like off of like Etsy for example. Like these are already like custom and preset. Or you can also commission somebody to make uh, your own. Usually these go around if you get like a commission one. I would say the minimum is like 40 bucks, 35. Um, it really depends on how simple you get with it. It could, it could also increase depending on how many details you want, how many features you want, like blinking and things like that. If you want the hair to move, I know some features do that as well. But yeah, for example, they have like this um, Stickman PNG tuber, and he comes with five emotions. Honestly, A24 is a great deal for five emotions because again, it can cost more depending on like how many emotions you get as well. Or they have this like little repo character. This is all from Etsy, by the way. You could just search in like PNG tuber. So my first PNG tuber was from Rain Claudia. Uh, this was my little first PNG tuber. I don't know why I have two of these, but without the bear ears and the crown of this one, this was my first PNG tuber. She was just so cute and she bounces up and down and I got it from Etsy. You can customize, obviously, uh, you can either send a photo of yourself, you can have it as your character, you can have it as a certain animal that you like. Uh, if you have an OC, that also works very well. You can also get some from VGen, uh, if I search in PNG Tuber in here. These are the like more custom, you know, type stuff. As you can see, like they bounce up and down, you can do whatever with them. There's so many different like art styles you can choose from. Or I got mine from Twitter. My first one that I showed you here, this one right here, is from Dawn IIX, and uh, they have like a little commission card, and it'll bring you to an uh, artist tree. But as you can see, like PNG tubers usually go for like forty, forty-five dollars, and then another expression will be like another. 5 or 10 depending on what you want. I recommend just getting like your standard PNG tuber for now and then you can add expressions and stuff later on if you like. And again, they're totally like customizable. I'm sure if you search PNG tuber in here, like into Twitter, you know, some commissions will open up. I love Rose Thunder. So you commissioned your PNG tuber, you have one now, or you ordered one off of Epsi and you download it. Now what? You're going to get this thing called VetoTube, v but you're not going to get the regular VetoTube, you're going to get VetoTube Mini. I will leave this in the description below so you guys can download it for yourself. You're going to hit download now, of course mine is already downloaded in here, and it's going to open up this page right here. This little microphone right under me, you can't see it because my, my webcam is blocking it, but you can have your webcam setting, or not webcam, microphone settings and click which device that you use. It will automatically default to your default like mic setting. So if it's not the right one, please change it. Um, display settings, you can change the background here if you ha have like an image or if you just want it to be transparent, which you want it to be transparent if you're going to put it to OBS. 
um, and we will figure that out in a minute. Program settings, again, this is just, you know, how you want it to, like, quality-wise, VSync is on. I, I don't really touch these settings, and then avatar settings, I don't really touch that either. But over here on the right side, this is where you're going to put your images. So the first one is the closed mouth image. So this is mean eyes open, but the mouth is closed. Next, you're going to do the open mouth image, so eyes open uh, and mouth open. Then you're going to do like a closed mouth blinking. So this is eyes closed, mouth closed. And then for the last one, you're going to do eyes closed, open mouth. And that's how you get it to talk. That's how you get it to blink when you talk uh, and things like that. Typically, when you commission somebody or if you download one, you should have all these four images. If not, for whatever reason, I don't think you need to put like blinking and stuff like that. But if you want to, it is there. I don't touch like the state properties one. This statue effects, this is how I uh, randomly jump and move. Um, so if you want to press this here, you can darken, you can, you know, play with, around with these to see which ones you want. Like, as you see, as I'm talking, I, I am jumping up and down and I'm bouncing around. But if I'm not talking, I still have a little bit of, like, floatiness to me. So I'm not just, like, full-on standing still. It's, you know, it's floating around still. So it doesn't go really far. I mean, you can change the amount of, you know, movement and stuff like that if you want. You can slow down the jumping if you need to. And yeah, you can play around with that. If you want to change your keybind for whatever reason, um, this one is F6. This one doesn't even work, I don't think. There we go. I can I can change them depending on uh, which PNG tuber I want, and that's just the keybind it goes from. And then you have the delete state button, which I might do to this one <laughs> because this one's just the same. Um, so yeah, all these PNG tubers are called states. So I have state one, state two, state three. Uh, and you can add a new one by copying that here. So now I'm going to show you how to put it into OBS, Streamlabs, whatever you use, Meld, whatever you use. So I'm going to go down here and add a source. Um, I'm going to add a game capture. And just for the sake of it, I'm going to do this. I'm just going to make another one. For the mode, I'm going to put capture a certain window. And I'm going to put VTube. And I'm going to scroll down and say allow transparency. Oh, she's big. Um, I'm going to transform, uh, fit the screen. And you can, you know, make her smaller. I'm going to crop this by using the alt button and just, you know, we can like put her in the corner here. You can put her wherever, but um, some people like it in the bottom right corner. Some people have it on this side. But personally, if I'm facing this way, uh, if I'm facing like towards the right side, I like to put it right here. Um, and then I'll have like a chat box above me. So I'll show you my example of my uh, like PNG tuber game thing. So obviously the game's going to take up the full screen. I have a chat box right above me. Um, usually Spotify will play in the top left. But for whatever reason, you need the like green screen. I will show you that here as well. Um, again, you're going to add it as a game capture. But instead of allowing transparency, you're going to add a filter if you need like the green screen background. Uh, you're going to add a chroma key. And it should automatically be set to green. And then you can close it. But as you can see, like in my hair, the leaves are gone. Um, the, the flowers are gone as well, <laughs> but if I do select like this, this color on the screen here, like if I do select this gray, it does go away. So it's not like a, you know, that's why <laughs> I had to do it the other way to, to allow transparency. So that is all about PNG tubing. If you guys have any questions, leave a question down below and I will try my best to answer you. And yeah, that is it. I will see you guys on the next one. Bye.